ladies and gentlemen now apologies there's no webcam today and if i sound a little bit funny i'm a little bit ill uh i've got covid for like the fourth time however it's the iron man buff day you know i had to get out of bed i had to test this thing out um and my god dude it took me about like 30 minutes to warm up to playing this champion but really once i got used to the loop and what you're trying to do is just be very aggressive build up to the special two and try and like parry as many special attacks as possible uh, once you get above like six armor and then you want to at least like eight armor up special two and then you can get like a wombo combo where you do like three special ones back to back um and just absolutely decimate your opponent so here you can see where four he hits in we've done you know pretty much nothing to realm of legends wolverine it's been a very uneventful matchup so far but then we get those armor breaks going for the special one and especially you know if you got a striker as well uh you can just get like mega aggressive with this you see the striker coming in just kind of those raw hits like scaling with not only iron man's attack but also the armor break debuffs and like he's just down once we're like fully ramped up at about um uh, you know 25 hits there uh so yeah he's like a very underwhelming champion until you get him ramped up and then his damage is just like absolutely crazy so he definitely like he, you know swings him out a bit in terms of the damage output so yeah if you like a good ramp up champion the ramp up isn't excessively long again it's kind of like get to just before the special three pop that special two uh make sure you've got enough armor ups as well and sometimes that can be a little bit tricky um, a lot of the play style, again, is very rewarded by either blocking or parrying special attacks. Again, ideally, you want to be good enough that you can parry the special attacks. But again, uh, in certain matchups, even I'm not like that good at parrying a lot of special attacks in this game. But minimum, you want to block just so you have the highest possible chance to get additional armor ups. And then it makes that special to kind of ramp up phase uh, last a lot longer because then you've got, you know, more charges to dump your special one into because every time you use a special one you know it consumes 25 of the charges every single hit as well and your ramp up phase consumes a charge so these stacks can go down quite quickly so you kind of need you know to get used to playing this champion against various health pulls just to figure out again what are you trying to go for like have i got enough charges to actually finish the match up here uh because again like if we were to go for like another five combo and then special one um, we'd actually lose our ramp up phase and we don't want to do that because we want the attack bonus from it so again you don't want to like throw that too early to end that again here we've got like some armor breaks ticking still you know we've got plenty of damage just to finish off the match here uh, especially in assassin's range as well so i believe it would be a dps loss if we actually threw a special attack here so yeah we just go for like finishing off the match that way so i just feel like there's this level of familiarity getting used to the power level of your iron man whatever rank he is and also your opponent's health pool and figuring out you know what are the right plays what are the right moves um because initially like doing the first few matches i i found like he was a little bit difficult to play felt a bit underwhelming but then the more i played him uh, the more i kind of eased into the character and really started to enjoy him so that might be an experience some of you have if you're picking up this champion today and playing him he felt like a little bit weird at first because again uh if you do not get the ramp up right and if you don't use that special two when you're at kind of at least like eight armor ups to uh, make sure you go up to like uh what is it a minimum of 13 there so you can get 115 um arc reactor charges then yeah he's just gonna feel like a little bit short in terms of the overall damage output on his burst phase unless you know you have class advantage or like a much shorter matchup by comparison but yeah once you get cooking man like he does feel incredible to play there is so much damage output you can see here again this is a six star rank four we got no boosters no team synergies no suicide masteries and he's just absolutely cooking this realm of legends vision there's just like absolutely massive damage um and yeah that was a, a really good fight i think outside of the the wolverine fight uh that was probably the quickest fight that we have against a realm of legends opponent but also vision you know very uh useful person to fight because he's like a super easy special attack just to parry as well and i wanted to show this black panther matchup because this one uh, i just could not figure out on the fly how to parry 
any of Black Panther's special attacks. So I just need to get a little bit more used to, again, pairing special attacks. Because I haven't really played Sunspot in the last two or three years, it's just one of those things like, I'm just a little bit rubbish at the moment. And I think that's really one of the, the things that's going to make you enjoy this Iron Man so much more. Because if you can get the parry on the special attacks, you get like a stacking 10 second pause on the armor up buffs. So it just makes it so much easier to maintain that ramp state uh, and also get the additional attack power bonus for every Every single armor up as well so you're gonna see we lose a little bit of that attack power bonus in this matchup um but you know iron man is still absolutely cooking going for another combo here we're gonna go for a special one get these six armor breaks and again this combined with the attack bonus really is the way that iron man like amplifies his damage and just starts hitting like an absolute truck there so it's just uh it's really funny in the clips because like you know until you get to that special two uh and you start getting the armor breaks on like there really isn't too much damage output but after that it just starts absolutely trucking down these health pools man um so you know this is uh if you enjoy a good ramp up champion you may enjoy iron man but also i think for people that just enjoy like on my free to play account and when i'm not feeling like too good on certain days or if i'm like uh, tackling a new tricky node or a boss um sometimes you just want that champion like hit monkey that just goes into the matchup and you've immediately got an absolutely colossal source of damage output you know you just want that champion that you do like three combos on and like massive critting and you've got like that baseline there whereas iron man you know he does take about 30 40 hits till you're really gonna see the damage and you do have the criteria of he also ideally needs to be able to apply debuffs to the opponent as well. So I can definitely see like a lot of matchups and scenarios where Iron Man is the most favorable character to play, uh, but also at the same time, um, I can also see many scenarios, especially against mutant champions with a lot of prowess, where he's just going to be absolutely cooking here. Now, on this one as well, we got we got Mega Shark did. Uh, we got Power Drain by the Scarlet Witch, which was so close to setting up like a near perfect special two there. Uh, but yeah, this again is another scenario where Iron Man is, is going to like uh, lag a little bit is uh, if there's anything like messing with his power it could really affect his ability to, uh, you know, ramp up. Um, they kind of trigger that overload phase so just something to keep in mind as well uh there are there are disadvantages to this champion and he does have like matchup scenarios nodes where he's going to be weak but at the same time he does have a lot of utility built into the kit you know look at the amount of uh, buffs that he has look at the amount of debuffs he has as well you know if you've got something like this track or buffed up he has the ability providing there's no external nodes as well to just absolutely power through those and uh, once we got the armor breaks here, man, we got a couple of the fury buffs as well. And we're absolutely cooking against this Scarlet Witch. Uh, yeah, that fury buff scaled up really, really nicely. So I think, again, certain buffs and nodes might actually scale up his damage well nice. All right, now for a little bit of Bishop Bullion. So we just got the cheese match here, man. This is my six star rank four versus my seven star rank two Bishop. On the Bishop as well, for both matches, you're going to see uh, we do have the block penetration enhancement enabled on the seven star so that is really the only reason he's going to be taking block damage because iron man has like crazy block proficiency even on lower star versions but you see there the six star rank four was just mega cheese there so we actually went for the five star rank one so this is still like quite a difficult punch up for champions to have just because um Again, there's such a power level difference, plus also you have a huge amount of block penetration as well on top of that uh, from fighting seven stars. However, Iron Man is just one of the most perfect bishop counters. So you see on a special one incineration aura, one of his new abilities, whenever he has an armor up, which is all of the time, he is going to be fully immune to bishop special one incinerate aura, so you never need to worry about that. And also he's got some mad block proficiency, so again, even against the seven star, we are actually getting substantial mitigation against these special one hits um and also spamming our special one we're able to strip bishop of any prowess that he gains constantly and just convert that into additional armor ups so yeah it just makes him like really quick and easy in comparison to the usual method to ramp up and also if you lose your ramp it's like much easier to get it back as well 
So just chuck in another combo here, go for a cheeky little backdraft, another full combo, straight into a special one, get the six armor breaks, and then we literally just need one more combo and this fight's gonna be over there. So yeah, you can see he is just made to absolutely bully Bishop, but another mutant champion, he's phenomenal for, and I only had the two star Iron Man versus five star Sauron, which is my highest Sauron. Uh, dude, he just demolished this five star Sauron as a two star, it's crazy. So you throw the special one, you strip away like pretty much all the prowess, you like insta armor ramp as well, uh, and then you can just get going, man. So, you know, we go for another combo here, straight into the special one. I think the damage alone was just enough to knock out that five star version of Sauron. Uh, so, yeah, if there is a mutant champion with a lot of prowess, like Iron Man is absolutely shredding that match up there. So overall, that is it for the first look at Iron Man again. Sorry, this isn't the usual sit down showcase with the webcam and apologies if my voice sounds a little bit off today. Uh, I've been super ill, but I wanted to get out of bed and do this, man, because it's such a special day finally seeing this character buffed. But yeah, if you've been playing Iron Man today, hopefully you've been enjoying him. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Again, I will state that it did take me about like 30 minutes to really get into playing this champion. I found he was one I really had to warm up to. He didn't feel like other champions where you immediately pull them, go into a match, you know, they're fully ramped up and they start doing crazy things. You kind of need to get used to his play style and the armor ups and just, you know, uh, getting everything in order. But once you do, I find he's really, really fun to play. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much for watching. Take care and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.